Madman is a slasher film from 1982. It was directed by Joe Giannone. This was the only film he ever directed. So considering the fact that the only film he directed is a low-budget slasher film with cheesy dialogue, there's no wonder why his career as a director didn't exactly take off. The film opens with a group of people gathering around a campfire and telling stories. One story in particular tells the story of old Madman Mars, a farmer who killed his family and escaped death after the locals hung him for the murders. And if you say his name aloud in the open, he will hunt you down and kill you. It's kind of like Candyman in that sense. However, I'm not sure why the killer is so sensitive about his name being spoken. Anything else he's fine with, but if you say his name, you're dead. So of course there's always one kid who goes against what they're told not to do, and surprisingly he's one of the only survivors. Which completely goes against the rules in regards to saying his name. In fact, it seems like everyone who doesn't say his name ends up getting killed off instead. It's like the film forgets its own rules. The film is set in the woods, so it has that Friday the 13th feel to it, only this film isn't made as well. The film also reminds me of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at times, specifically the house that's based in a derelict environment, and a serial killer who stores bodies of his victims in the basement. The movie has some of the most cringeworthy characters in the history of film. They remind me of something straight out of the Scooby-Doo show. This one girl is so unconvincing at acting scared, it's almost laughable. Seriously, this scene could have had 10 minutes cut from it and it still wouldn't make a difference in regards to the plot. She also decides to hide in the refrigerator, which is one of the most stupid places to hide when trying to escape from an axe wielding killer. The film also has one of the most hilarious lovemaking scenes I've ever seen in a film. The music along with the characters swimming in sync is just too funny to take seriously. There's also one character who spends the entire duration of the film just wandering around for no apparent reason. The worst part about it is the other characters get themselves killed off trying to find him because they think he's in some kind of danger. I mean, why is he wandering around? There's no reason for it, except the fact that he has a random urge to explore the area. The best aspect of the film is probably its over-the-top death scenes, my favourite of which being the hanging scene. They're not the greatest scenes, but they definitely stand out like hidden gems at times. I also love the parts where Madman Mars discreetly drags the dead bodies away. There's just something morbidly comical about it. One of the most memorable moments of the film is the scene where Madman Mars is looking down from the trees, prying on his victims, with the night sky behind him. It's probably the most iconic scene in the entire film, and it definitely reminds the audience that what they're watching was intended to be a horror film. Before watching the film for the first time, I always had the strange urge to see it, but somehow I'd never get round to it. Perhaps it's the silhouette of a man with an axe on the front cover that attracted me to it. It isn't the greatest slasher film of all time, however it isn't short of a few unintentional comedy moments too. It's stupidly hilarious characters, murderous barefooted farmer, and dark atmosphere is certainly enough for any 80s horror fan. I give it 7 axes out of 10. Thanks for watching.